you beautiful souls out there and welcome to my channel Rosology. I am so honored to have you visiting my channel for this monthly energetic forecast of all the places you could be. You're here with me and I could not be more thankful to you. So this reading is for all of my Capricorns out there that is sun, moon, rising, even Venus. So I'm going to be channeling messages for my Capricorns about potential blessings, challenging energy you may have to face, a message from your amazing guides, as well as a mantra for this beautiful September. So we are officially in Virgo season and I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to know from you all in the comments if it's been a very active month so far in terms of spirit contact. I've been receiving downloads and downloads of information. And if you guys have been receiving any channel messages from spirit, please feel free to comment if you want to. Um, but the message that I got particularly this morning was all about being very careful as to how we choose to express our own divinity. Very briefly, it was about how everything in existence is a reflection, representation, or a personification of the all, the divine, spirit, God, the most high, whatever you may call it. Everything is a personification of spirit itself. That's why it is so important for us to forgive each other and ourselves. The divine is present and existing within each of us. We are the ones that choose how and in what way to express the divinity that lives within us. We can either honor our own sacredness and the divinity and everything and everyone else, or we can disrespect that. And it's our right to choose, but we will not be able to escape karma and we will not be able to escape ourselves. Karma honors divinity because karma itself is divine. The less we honor our sanctity, the harder the universe goes in trying to show us the error of our ways. Everything in existence exists to remind us of our own divinity because every single creation is a personification of the divine in different forms. Spirit created us through unconditional love. To honor the sacred divinity that lives within us, it is our responsibility to lead and act with love. This ensures that we are doing our part. Whether we receive that love and support back is completely irrelevant. It's our job to be accountable for how we express our divinity and whatever does not reciprocate that back to us will have to deal with its own reflection, actions, and choices. And that goes for all of us okay so honor spirit by leading with love and everything else will simply just fall into place and I thought it was a really beautiful message and I wanted to share it with you all because sometimes we need a reminder of just how precious and extraordinary we are life can get tough and it kicks our ass from time to time but we are not products of this life we are products of divinity we literally are made up of stardust you guys so that should say something right there right so moving on to the reading before we get started let me just say this is a general reading for all of my Capricorns out there so in order for this general message to speak to your individual spirit you must be intuitively connected to this reading to help you guys get your own psychic abilities activated I'm going to be offering a 30 second meditation if you you'd like to participate take a deep breath in for about five seconds hold that breath for three seconds then exhale out of your mouth for six to seven seconds after breathing deeply a few times you should be calm and relaxed and when you are ready we'll go on ahead and start that meditation right now So hopefully that meditation helped you to spiritually connect to me and the energy of this reading. I want to thank you, your guides, my guides, our higher self and spirit itself for coming through to deliver this beautiful message today. Now, without further ado, let's get into the reading. All right, Capricorn, welcome to your reading. So we're going to be starting off with this card all the way over here to the left. This card is going to be showing me the potential blessings that you may be receiving for this month of September. So let's go ahead and take a look. And the very first card that we have here is the star in reverse. So the blessing I'm seeing for you this month is success, victory, and recognition. I see you finally getting something that you've really been working hard at. And because of that, a lot of people around you are going to be noticing the success. This success, though, for some of you may not be material or related to a job or a career, but this is internal change that I'm seeing. I think some of you have been trying to change an aspect of yourself or shed or release some sort of aspect of yourself. So this could be something like forgiveness, acceptance, finding moving on deciding to move on in some way though I'm seeing this be the change that you called in I also need to say 
uh, because this is coming through very strong, but if any of you have been doing new moon rituals or the law of attraction during certain times of the month or the year or whatever the case, or relying on the stars and their planetary movements, um, that is definitely coming in this month. Whatever you may have been asking the universe for, I'm seeing very strongly that coming to fruition, at least some fraction of it, some part of it is coming to fruition this September. There's a lot of fertility and possibility here for my Capricorns in the month of September, but I'm seeing for many of you this month be successful or victorious. Those were the first two words I heard for you guys. So expect these things to begin materializing in your life this month. Another blessing I'm seeing is you accomplishing something that no one else did. So there's some major recognition tied into this card for the month of September. Since this is a reading for all Capricorns, it's really impossible to say exactly what this is, but whatever you may have been working towards, your success of that particular thing is here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this middle card here this is going to be showing me the challenging energy that you may be dealing with for the month of September and we have the chariot in reverse I knew I saw success for you guys okay so even with this card representing your challenges I'm seeing your success come in or recognition like I was saying there's something that you are definitely going to accomplish in September and for many of you this is a huge accomplishment but with this chariot card in reverse the challenge I'm getting is you may feel overwhelmed with the success because it's going to come out of nowhere at least that's what it's going to seem like for the people around you no one else really sees the blood sweat and tears that goes into a person working towards their dreams and with this card in reverse here this is telling me that some of those bruises may begin to kind of show it's a grueling climb to the top and no one understands that better than my Capricorns you guys were built for the climb to the top but you are still human and what I'm seeing here is once you finally accomplish this thing I'm seeing you almost like collapse it's like that runner that crosses the finish line and their body just gives out because they gave it everything they had I'm seeing your body or mind say I'm tired I need to rest but you're going to want to keep going you're going to be running so high off of this accomplishment that you're you're not going to want to stop but your body or your mind is going to be telling you I need to stop I need to rest listen to any part of you that says I need to rest another thing I'm seeing here is a challenge or challenging energy is everyone wanting something from you or wanting to be around you because of your new success they're going to want to either learn from you or be under you or around you just so they can catch some of the crumbs so to say uh, of your success or they're going to be around just to admire or watch you but be careful with some of these being because some of them will be inspired by you and what you managed to make happen but others will be very jealous of the success and that can weigh on you especially with this high level of energy uh, that you're going to be operating on your energy is going to be so high that any bit of negative or jealous energy is going to be something that you feel pretty intensely you're going to be able to notice it very easily and sense it very easily and this can also weigh on you so that combined with all of these new responsibilities that come with this success I see you feeling the aftershock of oh god I have to keep going I have to make sure I sustain this feeling or the success that's going to make you want to go harder but don't you need to rest if any part of you tells you to rest then do so as well as if any part of you tells you to watch out for this individual or that one listen to it you don't have to attack people or be angry with them or be paranoid about who's around but just keep a watchful eye and use discernment because your success is going to attract many things and many people and the key here is not to feel or allow yourself to get overwhelmed okay let's go ahead and take a look at this card here this is going to be showing me the overall energy for your month of september the card that we have here is the four of swords in reverse what did i tell you guys the Four of Swords is about rest, meditation, relaxation. To have this in reverse obviously means the opposite of that. So the overall energy for the month is I want to keep going, even though parts of yourself are telling you, no, I need to slow down or I need to stop. You may feel as though you don't have a lot of downtime this month or that you can't slow down. If you begin to feel irritable or begin to get frustrated easily or start to hate the sound of your phone going off, this is going to be a sure sign that you need some downtime or you need some alone time it's going to be very crucial for you this September Capricorn to maintain balance between working and resting because you need to be able to keep up with the quality of work that you've been putting into your projects or your career or yourself and the only way to keep up with this high quality that brought in so much success for you is to take moments of rest and not just sleeping but I'm talking about watching a movie playing a video game cooking your favorite meal painting singing hanging out with friends and family going out and enjoying yourself going out to parties 
party, you still need to be able to maintain a personal life without feeling guilty or ashamed of not working, all right? And this card over here is going to be showing me the message from your spirit guides for the month of September. So let's take a look. And the card that we have here is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the message I'm getting here... And this is all reversal, so this is very interesting. The message I'm getting here from your guides is you don't need to worry. You've already achieved greatness or you've already achieved or accomplished your goal. And no one and nothing can take that away from you. What's yours is, has, and always will remain yours. You are not at risk of losing what you've gained. It belongs to you. Look at how this ace and every other tarot card here is in reverse that is spirit saying this is all you it's yours it belongs to you there is zero risk of losing or not attaining what has been promised to you you have found the success because spirit said it was yours people can be liars people can be fickle but not spirit spirit is truth spirit is clarity and spirit does not ensure or promise anything without seeing that thing through this has already happened or your success will be sought through this september and once you reach this place embrace it give thanks enjoy this moment because you have earned it all the work and nights and stress and pain and sacrifices they all led to this moment right here you take some time to enjoy what you have accomplished don't get right back to the grind enjoy it and know that it's not going to go anywhere okay so really try to take some um, moments of alone time, some relaxing moments, some moments where you're enjoying yourself, having a good time. That's what you've been working for, right? Like, yeah, we work for recognition and accomplishments and achievements and whatever the case, uh, whatever it is our goal is. But we also work so that the way we can ensure a better life, that the way we can enjoy a better life, that the way we can raise our quality of life. So really make sure that you're taking that time to enjoy your life and enjoy this accomplishment that you that you're going to gain this September, because that's your way of saying thank you to spirit. That's your way of saying thank you to the universe and that's also a way of saying thank you to yourself so do not skip out on saying this huge thank you it is that you've worked for by taking some alone time taking some relaxed time taking time to just enjoy yourself okay so let's go on ahead and take a look at you guys as oracle cards see what else it is that we have going on here and the very first one that we have is ask your soul okay you guys i knew it this card is all about asking the universe or spirit for something and that something coming to fruition. I'm telling you guys, you've got some blessings and I wouldn't call it blessings, honestly, uh, because you've been working for this. You called this in, like I said earlier with the star card here. I saw some of you asking spirit through the law of attraction or through new moon rituals or following the planetary movements. This card is crazy confirmation that the seed that you sowed is coming. The book literally says about this card, something that you have asked for will soon turn up this is really hard confirmation right here um so for those of you asking and wondering where this thing is you've been calling it in it is coming but have faith that it is coming to you know that you are worthy of this and that you have been doing the work for this to come into your life so it's already yours believe that with all of your being for those struggling to believe or you may feel that your seed is not sprouting or your prayers aren't being heard i want you to close your eyes and visualize what it is that you want put yourself in that place for a moment i want you to just feel it entirely embrace it for instance if it's a new car feel the steering wheel in your hands smell the leather see yourself flipping through the radio stations hear your friends laughing in the back seat or the passenger seat and this is just an example but really put yourself in the moment that you receive that prayer that you've been asking for Feel how good that moment is going to be when you finally receive that thing you've been wanting. Embrace this moment. Feel it in your heart. Feel it in your bones. Feel it in your spirit. Feel it in your being. Feel it and embrace it and live it for these few moments. And once you're done visualizing this, I want you to thank your guides. Thank your angels. Thank spirit. Then thank yourself. Then open your eyes and realize that what you just did is planted a seed of love and faith. The faith came from you and you feeling yourself with this thing, whatever it may be. The love came from your heart that was full of joy as you visualized receiving this thing. Then I want you to know that all of the universe heard your prayer and is responsible to your call know that this is done okay the next card that we have here is psychometry I believe I'm saying that right sensitivity okay so this card um, 
it, it sounds a lot like ask your soul here because it's all about getting sensitive enough to hear or feel or sense your dreams out there taking root, then sprouting and growing under the watchful eye of the creator. This goal or dream is being cultivated by spirit itself. Spirit is pulling this dream of yours together so it can materialize in your life. This card is telling me again as confirmation that what is yours is yours and cannot be taken from you. Psychometry is the divinatory practice of holding an object that belonged to someone else and being able to pick up on that person's energy through this object. So this card is telling me that your dream or goal is already energetically bonded to you because it belongs to you. This has been fated for you before you were even born here. You are not in any way at risk of being separated from this thing. It is coming to you if it has not already, okay? The very next card that we have here is Cave Sanctuary. Yes. What was I saying? You definitely need some alone time, some time to relax, get to yourself and rest. This card is all about retreating into an isolated space where you can be alone and to yourself so you and your batteries can recharge. Now that this success has been called into your life, the next part of the process is ascension. And this sort of transition is tiring work because you are leveling up literally. Now that you have the success, new responsibilities are beginning to form and you're going to need to be operating at your optimal best to be able to put out the quality of work that you need to put out whatever this may be this could be work relationships lifestyle i'm feeling for a lot of you that this is finances or career or maybe entrepreneurship something like that but this is all about being able to maintain what you called in and you need to recuperate from all that you had to go through so give yourself some time you have definitely earned that okay the next card that we have here is between worlds oh my god this entire pile is literally like just screaming huge blessing coming in september this is also confirmation that like i was just saying in cave sanctuary that you are literally ascending you are energetically spiritually emotionally physically ascending you are ascending as a being and as a person you are evolving transforming and morphing this transition is not the easiest because you are leaving one world or your past to enter into your future for many of you your future is starting this september and this is a major change for many of you but do not be overwhelmed go with it flow with it and trust that you have with the help of spirit gotten yourself this far and you're going to keep achieving your goals you're going to keep manifesting your dreams this success is not over by a long shot there is more to come so you have to get prepared and you have to get ready for this okay so take some time to rest now because the climb to the next level is coming it's coming fast so take this time to rest now take this time to enjoy yourself now the very last card that we have here is universal light so this card is dealing with the soul star chakra and that's the chakra that's located right above the crown chakra so that's above your head uh, the universal light is the light of the cosmos that loves you unconditionally and does not judge you for who you are this card is telling me again that the creator is in control of manifesting your dreams and desires this universal light is also here to help assist you in transitioning from your present to your future and this light will help you to maintain and sustain all that you need to this this card is also confirmation of what your guide said with this ace over here and that's that you don't need to worry what's yours is yours and you'll be guided by the universal light of unconditional love that only wants to see you as happy and fulfilled and reaching for your greatest and highest potential this is beautiful capricorn i'm really excited for you guys because i'm not exaggerating but september is the beginning of your future of the rest of your life for very many of you here this is something that you not only called in but you have been working for it if you have been putting in the work calling in this thing it is coming to you okay you should be so very proud of yourself and your accomplishments before they even get here because you've already accomplished it your success is proof of your hard work and of spirits faith in you just remember to get some rest and to enjoy every moment of this you deserve all of this recognition and success all right and this universal light here like i was saying this is dealing with the soul star chakra um but one really good mantra for my capricorns for this month of september would be i am a divine channel of universal light and love that is the mantra for this card is i am a divine channel for the universal light and that i think that is an amazing mantra for my capricorns for uh this month of september because there's a lot of good stuff coming to you guys for this month of september for very very many of you okay so uh this is all that i'm seeing for my capricorn sun moon rising even venus thank you guys for coming through and seeing this message i'm so honored to have you here with me i pray that this reading brought you guys some love support clarity and strength i want to say thank you to your guides my guides 
guides, spirit itself for coming through and delivering this beautiful message for September. Hopefully you guys come back to visit me sometime soon. Don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus sign videos if you haven't already. I'll be back next time. All right. Bye guys.